Now, linear momentum, angular momentum, torque. Angular momentum and torque, these are the prime things that are the basis of this chapter. Everything else will be questions based on these topics. Three things we have to cover now. Please understand. We need to understand what is the meaning of torque. In fact, better than that, first priority should be angular momentum. And if you people understand the basic definitions, your fundas will be clear forever. Angular momentum, the symbol generally is L. Like for linear momentum, we use a symbol P. For angular momentum, generally the symbol used is L. And for torque, you have tau. And the third thing we will learn is rotational dynamics. For example, in normal dynamics, when we were studying uh, translational motion, we used to make the free body diagram and we used to write the equations. Rotational kinematics, simple. Have you done rotational kinematics? What are, what is rotational kinematics? Can you tell me? Yes, equations of motion, jo abhi humne likhi thi. once you do that in rotation, this will be rotational kinematics. And once you make free body diagrams and write equations like net force is equal to ma, net torque is equal to I alpha, that becomes rotational dynamics. dynamics. And we will start, this will be our first topic. This will be our second, this will be our second topic. This will be our third, this will be our fourth. This will be the order. And very quickly we will learn the concept behind these four. Just see, rotational kinematics, I will not spend too much time because I feel you have already done translational kinematics. You just need to get a glimpse of this. Let's see. If this is a disc, if this is a rod, this rod is rotating about a hinge. This is a rod of length L, mass M, and it is rotating, about, it is fixed about this axis as shown perpendicular, this axis. And this rod is rotating in a circle. This rod is rotating this direction, anti-clockwise. The direction is towards you, actually. Now, the there is a torque acting on this. The torque acting on this is tau naught. It is given. M is given, L is given, and tau. Torque is given. Co torque is constant. That is given to you. Tau naught. It starts from rest. So, what is the initial angular velocity? It starts from rest. Now, you have to find out the angle traveled in time t. Angle traveled in time t. Second, final angular velocity after time t. Please find out. We are doing rotational kinematics. Please write the heading. Rotational kinematics. We will do one or two questions so that your mind is conditioned. You people understand what it means. All of you, please pay attention. Please tell me what is the, the rod is rotating about which axis? This axis, right? So, if this rod is rotating like this, the axis of rotation is this. Am I right? Now, is this rod rotating about its center of mass? What is the moment of inertia of a rod about an axis passing through the center of mass? What is the moment of inertia about this axis? ml square by 12. But right now the rod is not rotating about this axis. The rod is rotating about this axis. Which theorem you will use? Pa parallel axis theorem. So the moment of inertia about this axis was ml square by 12. Plus, what is this distance? L by 2. So finally you will get moment of inertia about this axis is how much? ml square by 3. Perfect. So you know the moment of inertia about this axis is about this axis is ml square by 3. This is the moment of inertia. Is the moment of inertia going to change? It is remaining constant. Is the torque constant or variable? So, net torque is equal to I alpha. Is that right to say yes or no? So, alpha is equal to 3 tau naught upon ml square. Is it correct? Angular acceleration is this. Is this angular acceleration? What is the direction of torque? You can say anti-clockwise right now. Anti-clockwise? From your side. Anti-clockwise, right. So, the direction of angular acceleration will be in which direction? So, the angular acceleration will also be? Perfect. So, let us assume...
clockwise direction to be positive or anti clockwise to be positive which one do you want done you can assume any direction to be positive to be positive anti clockwise so a humne symbol likh ke rakh liya so that we don't forget at all so this will be a plus thing now please tell me what is the initial angular velocity zero my aim is to find theta angular displacement after time t this is a this is u this is s this is t which equation s is equal to ud plus half t square which should be equal to theta is equal to omega initial perfect so s is equal to omega initial t plus half alpha t square this will be the equation i'll put the values uh, is equal to 0 plus half alpha next now please tell me what how do i do the next one again this is what i know this is what i know this is already given time and i need to find final so time is given after time t i have asked you so 1 2 3 and 4 v u a t which equation so omega final is equal to omega initial plus alpha t which is 3 tau naught by ml square into t now i am going to give you a little a core question so that we get used to doing such questions now just see this if this rod now i'll give you numerical values so that you get the charm of solving a question and getting the answer so now if the mass of the rod is 2 kg length is 4 meters and the rod is still rotating like this in a gravity free space there is no gravity jisse wo torque picture mein aaye now this rod was initially rotating with an angular velocity initial angular velocity was 20 radians per second what is the si unit of angle radians so angular velocity will be radians per second sometimes they just write uh, per second radians per second or per second both are same do you understand why radians is actually what is radians what is theta theta is length of arc upon radius right you know this theta is length of arc upon radius length of arc is in meters radius is in meters so actually it is a <laughs> but still we assign that since we are representing theta still we assign it a direction and that direction so theta is actually a dimensionless thing and we do assign an A, a unit to it and we call it radians sometimes even if he doesn't write radians it's implied that it is he is talking about now please see this 20 radians per second i want to stop it in 5 seconds and a, a constant torque will it be accelerating torque or will it be decelerating torque to stop it so our retarding torque opposing torque constant torque was applied to it so that it stopped in 5 seconds you have to tell me first part is you have to tell me what was the angle covered before stopping what was the external torque that was applied you have to tell me the magnitude only third is what was the angular velocity after 2 seconds do these three if you can do these three i'll be very very happy third thing is find the angular velocity after 2 seconds this was the angular velocity initially at how much 50 minus 42.67 how many of you agree to this one minute now be with me here just see this mr gupta please pay attention and everyone else who is on the same platform please be very attentive what is the initial angular velocity mr gupta omega initial is 20 radians per second is it clockwise or anti clockwise anti clockwise can you tell me what is the final angular velocity that i want final uh, sorry 
हाँ इट स्टॉप इन फाइव फाइव सेकेंड्स इट स्टॉप इन फाइव सेकेंड्स सो टाइम इज फाइव सेकेंड्स एंड ओमेगा फाइनल इज वॉट इफ इट स्टॉप आफ्टर फाइव सेकेंड बेटा माई क्वेश्चन टू यू इज वॉट इज द फाइनल एंगुलर वोलॉसिटी इफ द रॉड फाइनली स्टॉप अच्छा टेल मी इफ अ ट्रक इज मूविंग इफ इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम रेस्ट वॉट इज द इनिशियल एंगुलर वोलॉसिटी इफ द ट्रक फाइनली स्टॉप वॉट इज द फाइनल एंगुलर वोलॉसिटी ऑफ द ट्रक तो बेटा आई एम सेंग इफ द रॉड फाइनली स्टॉप वॉट इज द फाइनल एंगुलर वोलॉसिटी ऑफ द रॉड ओमेगा फाइनल क्या होगी इफ द रॉड फाइनली स्टॉप आफ्टर फाइव सेकेंड वॉट बी ओमेगा फाइनल एंड आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड एंगुलर एक्सेलरेशन एल्फा विच इक्वेशन शुड आई यूज अच्छा वन मिनट दिस इज यू दिस इज टी दिस इज वी एंड दिस इज ए विच इक्वेशन इज देर इन दीज फोर v is equal to u plus at so similarly i always remember it still like this so v is equal to u plus at so omega final is equal to omega initial plus alpha t this will be the equation now please be careful about the directions yes omega initial is anti clockwise time ki koi direction no direction omega final is zero so direction doesn't make any uh, uh, significance now let me put the values omega final is zero is equal to omega initial 20 Plus, I am assuming anti-clockwise to be positive, so I have written it plus 20 because here it was anti-clockwise plus 20. So please remember, anti-clockwise has been chosen positive. Now plus alpha into 5. Now alpha comes out to be minus 4. Am I right? What does what does minus sign mean? Yes. Minus sign means that we assumed anti-clockwise to be positive. That means it is clockwise. Now just see this. So net torque is equal to I alpha. So alpha we have found, and a minus sign means direction only. So don't mention minus sign. Just write it in words that minus sign here means it is in clockwise direction. Now what will be torque? Uh, moment of inertia about this axis is how much? <laughs> ml square by 3 so ml square by 3 m m m m l square l square by 3 this is 16 into 2 32, 32 by 3 so torque is equal to alpha so it is how much 42.67 am i right yes sir very good how do i find omega after 2 seconds yes i know omega initial i know time is 2 seconds now and i want to find omega final after 2 seconds omega final means after 2 seconds what is the final angular and and alpha i already know what is alpha minus 4 and omega initial i know which equation u v t a v is equal to u plus at and simple we can do this so what do you get omega 2 Okay, everyone got it. Now, this kind of these kind of questions are called uh, rotational kinematics, where where you are given the motion, and you are not asked to find the cause of motion. ये तो still I asked you torque, but generally he'll just talk about alpha, a, omega initial, omega final, da 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 da. Are you clear?